time once again for Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story, we're going to read about a family and a zoo. Can you believe a family might belong in a zoo? Not just to visit, but maybe live? Well, here it is. My family is a zoo. They are. K.A. Gerard, illustrated by Emma Dodd. Are you ready for this story? Here we go. This story was copyright in 2016. My family is a zoo. My daddy has an elephant. He got it when he was three. It travels with us everywhere. It's quite a sight to see. Me, I have my big brown bear. Surprise, his name is Teddy. And whatever the adventure, he is there waiting and ready. Today we're going for a drive to where I cannot say. We should arrive by lunchtime with some stops along the way. Meet my sister and the whale that sw she swims with in the ocean. It's big and blue and blubbery and smells of suntan lotion. Hmm. Here comes my older brother with his purple dinosaur. They may not seem ferocious, but you should hear them roar. Look, my cousin's kangaroo has a switch that makes it hop. Perhaps the switch is broken. The hopping just won't stop. There's my uncle and his penguin that he once left on the bus. <laughs> it traveled round for months before returning home to us. A little vacation, paid vacation for the penguin. My auntie owns a monkey with sticky outie airs. I should say ears. She bought it on vacation. She just loves her souvenirs. Grandma's brought her bunny whose coat is bold and warm. It's been loved and hugged and cuddled since the day that she was born. The bunny, not grandma. Grandpa's got his tiger that once slept in their bed till grandpa, or sorry, till grandma put her foot down. Now it lives in grandpa's shed. Looks like the tiger was taking the whole bed, hogging the bed. Grandma did not like that. Even Boomer has a puppy that he carries in his jaws, and every time he goes to sleep, he hugs it with his paws. Now, we're all ready, and we're all together, with barely room to spare. Can't wait to see if Mummy likes these brand new polar bears. We make a strange menagerie as we pull out two by two. We're not so much a family, more a family zoo. At last we arrived, me, Ted, and all the others. And just why have we come here? Look at this. To meet my baby brothers. Can you see that okay? Mm. 
And they even got a family picture. Look at that. That is awesome. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.